Hey guys, it's the OSM23 here, and uh, we're playing some World of Warships today, but this is like a game analysis. So I played a game earlier today, and I thought I did pretty well, so I want to share it with you guys. Now, here we're just joining the queue, right? And I'm going to show you guys the beginning of the match, and then I'm going to cut towards maybe the end of the match later on. And, um, yeah. So, playing the control point map on... We're playing some control point and on hotspot. And if you notice that I'm focusing on the uh, right side of the map, this very island heavy area. So, my strategy I'm going into this, I'm playing on the Cleaver, which is a great fire starting boat. Like, my AP rounds, they just, they just set fire. That's basically what they do, and you have the high guns and quick speed of a American uh, cruiser. So, right now I'm heading into this battle, and let's see, one of my teammates is already paying, that's great, but uh, this one the teams are evenly matched, both have it equal, and I'm just here wondering, like, just going into this with no real prospects, I'm just like, alright, let's go. So, you see, we see a Caesar Charles Mantle, and that's kind of like the first ship that I think I want to engage. So, I look at my team and I notice that I'm the top tier in the game, right? So, but it's a lot of tier eights, so I'm, it's not just like me alone. And I see the Charles Mantle in the distance and he's gonna come close to me. And I'm staying out of his detection range, but I aim it and I notice my DD in front of me is uh, putting up a smoke screen so I decide I'm gonna take advantage of that like pretty easy pretty straightforward right yeah alright so now here's our engagement here's our first engagement fighting off this Charles Mantle a little bit firing some HE the DD got sunk by the Charles Mantle and his torpedo I'm still undetected because of the smoke screen and I just there, one of the fires, and uh, he repairs instantly, most likely because I incapacitated him. But that smoke screen's about to run out, he hides behind the corner, so I take this time and I'm gonna retreat behind this island. Okay, drink some water. Alright, so he's behind the island, I'm behind an island, there's no one really that I can see it in the air. Now, my team is getting decimated. I just lost a destroyer and a cruiser to their destroyers. And now, uh, we're three down, they're only one down. So we're still pretty evenly matched, but we only have one DD, they have two. And we're down a cruiser. So nothing too big. Not like we lost a battleship this early on, or our CV. Now if you'll notice during this match, our CV doesn't do much, are on full alert. to be honest. It's kind of a useless one. But I'm here getting detected by these planes, but I'm an American cruiser, so. I shoot him down my AA guns. Now, I try to take a shot. I, I completely miss. That's an embarrassment. And now I'm just kind of looking. All right, everyone goes out of view, and I, I do something. This is kind of stupid right here. I push out to try to redetect that Charles Mano to get a fight with him because he's at low health. So I'm firing some AP armor piercing. But at his back side. Gun crews are and then I come around range. the corner and I notice, oh my god, there's a lot of ships in this area. Now, that Bismarck note is there. So I switch over to HE shells right now, but there's a Bismarck coming. Two DDs and a Charles Martel mantle. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna just shoot at him. I set him the on fire on one fire. more time, and now I'm retreating behind another island. So I need to get sick. Now, all these ships may be coming at me. Now, I have my North Carolina friend coming up on my left. But, the thing is, if, he can't if I can't detect those ships for him, he won't be much help. And he's hopefully going to fire against the Bismarck. You no. Know, he's going to get berated. And that's going to be quite painful for him. Now, I'm still burning on my fire. I needed to do a repair, but I should be able to get around this thing. So, see, look, my North Carolina, he was able to destroy. 
Now there was just a big a lot of stuff right there. My, uh, the enemy of Massachusetts was killed by mine, but he also killed another one of my troops. And then North Carolina helped and destroyed one of their the tunnels as much help. Now, for what happens with North Carolina here, you'll notice that he's taking heavy fire right now. And he got sunk by the lightning's torpedoes. Now this lightning, it pushes me. I don't know exactly why it would push me when it already released its torpedoes. But I, I, do, I make quick work of him. I incapacitate his engine off of hit bow. And I'm just kind of pegging him. There we go. He's, he's gone. Okay, now these torpedo planes come here and I notice them. And I'm like, oh god. But I, I have an American cruiser, so I'm, my AA is pretty good. But I'm going to get struck by this one torpedo. But it's not gonna do any flooding damage, so I won't have to waste a repair. I don't really know. But now this Bismarck is nearby. That's like the main enemy. He's right now hiding behind a an island. So the torpedo planes come back for another round, and I and I personally thought I was I was gonna get struck here. Cause like look, look. they they drop their torps, two right there. But then look at the one on the left. It just dies right before it hits me. Now, I'm not exactly sure why that happened. If anyone actually knows, you might want to give me a comment. But I don't know why. Now, here's the, probably the most intense part of the battle. This Bismarck right here is approaching me, and its, it's secondaries are just obliterating me. And I'm, yeah, I'm going to have to fight this guy. Now, I, I can't take him head on, so I can run. I'm going to try to do a hit-and-run strategy. So, gun he's just going to keep alert. chasing me, and I, I don't have him detected right here. But I know he's approaching me, so I'm going to use a radar to just try to find him. There I go. Yeah. I use my surveillance radar, and I detected the Bismarck approaching me from around the island. So yeah, I'm just, just deciding, the like, well, I'm just going to ring a rosy, ring around the rosy this guy. Because the Bismarck is a battleship, he has slower movement and slower turning, along with his guns not being able to turn as fast. So what I was originally thinking is I'm going to get behind him, and while his guns are still turned the wrong way, I'll light him on fire. But and I decided that would be a bad idea because I'd be out in the open all his secondaries, which are very dangerous. This one. All German battleships have high-power secondaries. Anyway, I hit him once while I couldn't detect him. He set fire, and I decide I'm going to run into these islands over here. Like, once again, he's slower, and I hit him again. Zero damage, non-penetration. And he, I keep doing this. I keep hitting him while he's turning the corner to an island. Now, now this is a dangerous spot. If he had his guns turned, he could have fired on me. But he didn't have all his guns aimed at me yet. See, the back ones are still turning. Now, I do some a small amount of damage, but he's on fire right now, which is very important. So I hit him a couple more times, and I'm going to run behind this island again. Now that, that's going to save me a lot of time, like those torpedo bombers back again, but they missed pretty badly. Now notice at the top, it's a 2 versus 5. Well, they have a CV, but it's a 2v5. It's me and a Massachusetts back at, like, spawn capital area, and it's me out here. So I realize that if we are to win this, I'm going to need to destroy this Bismarck. And my fire damage has done a ton to him. So, he probably will be going down pretty soon. And that's, that's pretty good for me, because I took out a Bismarck with basically my own guns. All I did was ring him around the corners of island, but he couldn't hit me with his main batteries. And I got him down. Enemy now I'm just destroyed. like, alright. And my teammate also took out the enemy Cleveland. So, I'm just like, alright teammate, can you manage to hold down our fort? And I'll try to cap them. Now, it's still a very risky thing. Because they still have a destroyer and a battleship over there. They should have been able to destroy my Massachusetts. But what you'll notice is that my Massachusetts actually comes out on top. Now, this is very important. Because now that I have both of his troops on my side of the map, there's not much he can do to the CV. He, there's not much he can do to, like prevent me from capping their their spawn. I just need to make sure look at me, I'm typing in chat. 
I'm just telling him make sure they can't start capping before I get into there because the CV honestly isn't going to contest me that much. Now he does have airplanes, torpedo planes, but I have an American cruiser, which I think is the main one of the bigger reasons that I, we wanted this. Because if I had, let's say, a less AA heavy boat, I wouldn't have been able to do the type of damage I did with just my AAs. Like, I have 38,000 AA damage. Sorry. 19 planes shot down. And two kills. Now, I noticed that they're still not capping our area, so I'm like, alright, I think we got the win right here. And... Well, then I just make short work of this CV. I don't actually kill him. I set him on fire a couple times, but I do a lot of damage. But in the end, we come out victorious. And World of Warships in their normal fashion gave me 1200 XP for 31,000 damage. 131,000 damage, 2 kills, 16 fires, and 331 hits. Like. I'm not sure, but I think I maybe deserved a little bit more. Who knows? But thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.